Bill, you're just off a plane, just arrived in Australia. Um, what's your first impressions? Uh, I'm just, you know, to be honest, I'm just excited to be here and uh, just blown away by the magnitude of uh, the whole setup here. So it's quite an impressive setup that uh, you're going to enjoy being at for the next couple of months. Yeah, I think so. Um, just want to settle in and get a couple training sessions under my belt. Uh, got a, it's going to be a quick learning curve, so you know, time to go to work. For fans whose knowledge of you will uh, rely entirely on YouTube, uh, what can they expect when you pull the shirt on? Uh, I don't know. I just uh, I like playing a, whatever, a fast game, and I'm just seeing how it goes. No promises. And what's your knowledge of Osprey's rugby about? I suppose it's enhanced by what Jeff and Tyler have told you, but what do you know about the team? Um, well, I know uh, it's formed in 06, is that right? 03. 03, close, close. Uh, I don't know too much, but uh, just talking to Jeff and uh, Tyler, you know, it's all, all I've heard is good things, so I'm just really excited to be here. Um, is it a case of getting up and running as soon as possible to get involved and get the shirt on and get out into action? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Going to get a quick session in a in a, about an hour or so, and then uh, yeah, full on. It's been a good year for Canadian rugby, home of World Cup qualification, and coming second in the Pacific Nations. Is it one of those growing countries that can achieve good things moving forward in rugby? Do you think? I think so. And uh, if you look at the professionals playing now, there's seems to be more and more every year from Canada, and you know it's only helping us grow. So it's a good thing. And the Osprey seems to be coming a bit of a home from home with three of you here now. <laughs> It does feel a little bit like home, so I'm uh, yeah, just happy to be here. Phil, thank you very much and good luck. Yeah, cheers.